According to history in the medieval time, the power that the church wielded in the day-to-day -day running of the state was unprecedented and this gave rise to civilization that is today on an upward spiral with various modifications taking place. Today, the strength in Christians playing a part in government has since diminished with the body of Christ chastised by politicians and placed on the back burners as they've been swept under the rug with their wings clipped by the government and some even driving the stereotype that the church has no business in politics. Such lie and narrative has further weighed the influence of the body of Christ that Christians have had to fold their arms and watch things cascade into oblivion without a thought for progress as the process has been hijacked with the church keeping mute without an opportunity to flex even though the larger population of the citizens are all members. However, the narrative is changing in Delta State with the church now finding their voices through the emergence of the Social Democratic Party SDP gubernatorial candidate Olorogu Kenneth Bagi and his liberation message that has won him thousands of followers, predominantly Christians in Delta State. The industrialist has been blazing the trail and the church has been its main focus even though naysayers have often questioned its motive of visiting churches as laughable, a confirmation that the church in Delta have been seen as an afterthought by the political class. Such rude awakening must prepare the body of Christ to look carefully and embrace the holy man that has deemed Christians worthy to campaign to. After all, Delta is a Christian state. It should be noteworthy that of all candidates vying to be governor of Delta State, that only the SDP gubernatorial candidate Olorogu Kenneth Bagi graced an interactive invitation by the Christian Association of Nigeria Khan, Delta C Chapter, Arasaba, the state capital, as other candidates overlook the umbrella body as a non factor in the elections. Bagi has shown that he is a man that exalts Christ as over the course of his campaign has attended town hall meetings and programs by various denominations, some of which include the Seven Diocese of Anglican Communion in Delta State, the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria PFN Delta State, an event where Bagi accepted to kneel before the altar of God for prayers, a move other candidates declined because of their hands that have been soiled and as such cannot stand before the Almighty. Programs by the Organization of African Institute Churches OAIC, the Catholic Church, Baptist Church, Christ Apostolic Church, the African Church, and one must not forget the mammoth reception he got in Ugeli during the annual prayer day of the Anglican Diocese of Ugeli when Bishop Odutemu anointed him to march from fair. Charity, they say, begins at home, and the Ugenwe Forum of Ministers just recently have anointed Bagi as Bagi's own people have proved that he is a man so much loved even in his hometown. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 13, the Bible states that then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers, and the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. Bagi has often reiterated his desire to establish a religious commission when he emerges as governor of Delta State, a proof of how highly he holds Christianity to bring back the Ark of God inside Government House for a more smooth running of Delta State as a God-fearing state. In 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 21, the scripture states that prove all things, hold fast that which is good. The onus is now on Christians to do the needful by voting Bagi and the SDP come 2023 because to put it straight, if with all the prayers received, anointing and open air acknowledgments that several bishops and top men of God have bestowed on him, it would be a failure on the part of the church should such a man without blemish come short at the polls. The time for talking is over and the church must take a rightful place in deciding who governs Delta as they account for over 90% of the population of the states. With March 11th just days away, the church must take Bagi's project as its own as failure to deliver the only candidate that has acknowledged that Christians matter in Delta State would be a slight on the body of Christ. When the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt, God raised Moses to liberate his people as they marched successfully to the Promised Land with the chasing Egyptians drowning in the Nile while trying to recapture God's people. 
God has brought a new Moses in Nolorogu Kenneth Bagi to Deltans. The people must hop onto the white horse that is the SDP logo with Olorogu Kenneth Bagi as a new Moses ready to take them to the promised land. I am Akbarero Henry Akbos and this is Rero TV. Thank you for watching.